Scratch, what one? Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics, Futa Hype, React to Sizzler and DJ Khalid Controversy. We also see Skeeter Burrell put out a post relating to the same matter plus Skilly Bang set to go on tour with Chris Brown. Yes people, we also have a thing to talk about with Squash and we're gonna review Samantha J new song, Push Your Luck. Yes people, the official music video. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad, and we mad at Dan, everything we mad. Now play like that, oh you wanna try to my face like that, now we not play like that, but I'm... Alright, so we are kick things off with this new official video from Samantha J, Push Your Luck. Yes people, new music out now, she a promote this one. I'm not gonna lie, I love the music video, the transition, the dance routine, you know, full of vibes. You just want to watch this one from the start to the finish. Very catchy, I love that pop slash dancehall sound in it. Remember Samantha J, you know, her song up for pop Grammy consideration like a month ago. And some of y'all supposed to familiar with this song right here, Push Your Luck from Samantha J. You know, it's supposed to depend on a playlist, but if y'all hearing it for the first time, let me know what y'all think about this one. <laughs> Alright, so this song, Samantha J put it out a way like you can relate to it in different form, a way people can just listen to it and just enjoy the flow, everything as well. Yes, people, so in the song, she and me can know say she and not the type of person where you can just walk over, you can just push her over just like that. So, Big up yourself, Samantha J, on this song right here. People, I'm gonna share the link of the music video in the comment section. I'm also gonna share it in the description of this video so y'all can check it out after watching this vlog. Alright, so let's get into it right here as dancehall artist Killy Bang is set to join Grammy winning hip hop slash R&B artist Chris Brown on his Under the Influence European Tour for 2023. Yes, people, so Chris Brown, you know, Breezy, he broke the news on Instagram earlier this week with a poster showing all the dates and the location for the tour, stating that tickets will be on sale Friday. He said that I'm bringing my brother Skilly Bang on tour, starting off the year with a bang. See you there. Yes, people, that is what Chris Brown put out. You know, the 13 date stretch produced by Live Nation kick off on Sunday, the 12th of February in 2023 at Dublin's Tree Arena before doing other shows in other places such as France, Switzerland, Germany and Belgium on the tour. The tour will climax in Netherlands at Ziggo Doom on March 6th, you see me? So, people, this is already a good look for Skilly Bang in 2023. Okay, so we see Squash Break Silence right here and he been off social media for a while, you know, since the whole incident with J-Man. We did see Squash come out, you know, and speak. It's like he must say, people for come off him name and all of that, but... When J-Man got the actual charge, you know, the double murder charge, for a while, we never see Squash a post or anything. And uh, something came out in the media. It's like the American officers used J-Man Instagram account in the whole process of investigation to help charge him. Yes, people. So, them use similarities of a surveillance footage where two men got taken out. Link it to J-Man Instagram account, you know, where he was wearing the same clothes as the person in the footage so them actually charged J-Man you know through the whole process because him did end up in hospital as well right after the incident so amidst all of that people are call up squash name you know it's like some of the fans them I wonder if him are gonna get charged to we see squash wipe off everything off him Instagram account the other day not never the pan squash IG account you see me so yesterday now we see squash him put out a post right here saying 
more while me zone out that are the caption squash put out simple as that as we am saying at the song more while me zone out no one seen a road so i guess squash you know came off social media because of the whole controversy everybody had talked about him you know j-man got charged so i guess all of that lead squash to put this out saying this right here all right so people we see footer hype reaction right here after seeing Sizzler burning up the platinum plaque DJ Khalid sent to him. Oh, you feel like DJ Khalid can style Sizzler? I me boss you, man. August Stone boss you. Joke, you joking. Alright, so after Sizzla went live and that video circulating is like some people are bashing Sizzla, they not understand why Sizzla burned up the plaque and him name credited on it, you know? It's like some people not understand, it's like them are saying, no man, I must something more to it. People, let me know what y'all think. But we see Futa Hype put this out right here saying, the black lion wake up after a long sleep, Sizzla, glad to have you forward my brother. Fire for bun, no compromise. Footer hype, we already see him speak about how, you know, DJ Kali them use the culture along with some of the fans and all of that. But right here is like some people still a want, really a wonder why Sizzler never try to reach out to DJ Kali, you know, over the phone or something, deal with the matter private instead of coming on social media like this, you know, I burn up the plaque. So people, let me know what y'all think, but I don't know. It's like Sizzla himself would have to come out and tell we what really went down, you know. It's like, I don't know if some deal went wrong working with DJ Khalid or what. But despite what some people are saying over social media, I don't know. I feel like something more to it. And Sizzla is like some people are saying, them not think him would be this petty, you know, for just destroy the plot just like that. And him name still credit on it. Okay, so don't know where Valiant heading to, but right here in this video we see the police escorting him and some of the fans react right here. As you can see, this person post man look like him just a learn for drive, no hate though. An next person right here comment with that grip on the steering wheel. Now I understand why you grab card with some laughing emoji. <laughs> And some people are saying right here, Deep of Red for right off the car. Okay, so in relation to the whole controversy between Sizzla and DJ Khalid, we see Skatabarel put this out sharing his view and along with some knowledge right here. It's like Skatabarel, you know, put this out shortly after seeing Sizzla with a video circulating across social media. It's like Sizzla went live burning up the platinum plaque. DJ Khalid sent him. You know, it's like Sizzla say DJ Khalid insult him. But as I said earlier, I feel like a something more to it. I can't just the front of the plaque. You see me? Yeah, people. So right here we see Skatter put this out saying producers, musicians, and artists keep working and let's not forget that talent without discipline will only get you so far. What we do impacts the world and for the love of the country and culture, we have an obligation to push dancehall and reggae to the wider world in order to create not only a legacy for ourselves but the ones after us. This is our avenue to success and wealth, so please remember to preserve this road so others may be able to walk. I post this to show the other side and please remember, any artist, label or other affiliated party who contributed to an RIAA that's Recording Industry Association of America certified title and would like to obtain a physical plaque can request it and have specific adjustments to fonts cost is around 450 USD Yo! Reggae Media TV Badder than Everything we're bad And we madder than Everything we're mad Subscribe now You hear 